so first of all a very good afternoon to all of you i hope you all are good doing great and uh, please take a good care of yourself as well as of your family members okay so as you would have guessed by now by looking at the title of the video that today we are going to discuss propeller and kaplan turbine so today we will be discussing propeller and kaplan turbine okay propeller and kaplan turbine now in our previous lectures we have discussed about pelton wheel or impulse turbine reaction turbine and francis turbine after mid sem we had a few classes in which we have discussed we have already discussed reaction turbine and francis turbine so i hope you all are thorough with these two types of turbines now what is a propeller or a kaplan turbine you can define this in four words propeller or a kaplan turbine is an axial flow reaction turbine now you can say that sir this is just four words but this four words these four words they carry the essence of these turbines what does these words say first of all it says that it is an axial flow turbine we have discussed in our previous classes that the flow of water can be axial tangential radial or mixed flow so it can have any of these four forms in case of propeller and kaplan turbine it is axial flow now what does this means axial flow means the water flows the water flows parallel to the axis of rotation of shaft don't worry i'll explain this to you in axial flow what happens suppose this is your shaft okay so your shaft is rotating like this and this will be your axis of rotation so the water will flow parallel to this axis of rotation it means the water will come from somewhere and then it will flow in this direction the water will flow in this direction it means the direction of water flow and the axis of rotation they are parallel to each other and you can see that they appears to be they seems to be parallel to each other so this is your axial flow turbine now the second component is it is a reaction turbine now what does this means reaction turbine reaction turbine means as your water flows through the runner as your water flows through the runner the pressure energy of the water is somewhat converted into kinetic energy again i am telling you as the water flows through the runner a part of your pressure energy a part of the pressure energy that is being carried by the water is converted into kinetic energy okay so you have to understand what is axial flow what is reaction turbine and a combination of these two is your propeller and kaplan turbine okay now coming to the uh, next point head now this is a very important component whenever you talk of turbine you will always find the mention of you will always see that they will mention head why it is important because your magnitude of electricity generation your magnitude of electricity generation is decided by the head or second thing suppose there is a head okay there is a dam it has some head now which turbine to install which turbine to install that is determined by the head you have a reservoir and a reservoir has certain head corresponding to this reservoir which kind of turbine should be installed for electricity generation you know that you can decide by the head only by looking at the head only for example if your requirement is if you have a high head system high head means you can say from uh, 500 500 meter to 2000 meter in that case you have which kind of turbine i have taught you in the class high head is for impulse turbine or you can say pelton wheels 
सो इफ यू हैव अ वेरी हाई हेड सिस्टम देन यू विल हैव इम्पल्स टर्बाइन इफ यू हैव मीडियम हेड मीडियम हेड यू कैन से फ्रॉम थर्टी मीटर्स टू थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर्स इन दिस केस यू वॉन्ट फ्रांसिस टर्बाइन ओके नाउ सपोज इफ देर इज स्कैरसिटी ऑफ वॉटर एंड यू हैव अ वेरी लो हेड मीन्स यू कैन से फ्रॉम फोर टू सिक्सटी मीटर्स then which kind of turbine is required you cannot install these two turbines there comes the role of propeller and kaplan turbine okay now i hope it's clear to you for high head you need impulse turbine for medium head you need francis turbine and for low head you need propeller and kaplan turbine okay now i hope this is clear to you now as far as the construction and working of propeller or kaplan turbine is concerned for that i'll be referring to this diagram and i'll uh, teach you according to this diagram by looking at this diagram this is the diagram from the book rk rajput you all can refer now uh, just look at it you will uh, i'll explain first of all i'll explain each and every part so your water will enter from this side and this is your guide vanes so this guide vanes will decide or will regulate the amount of water that will enter inside okay then you have a runner over here runner vanes it will rotate then you have the shaft and at the bottom of the shaft now this is the speciality of propeller or kaplan turbine in propeller or kaplan turbine at the bottom of the shaft you have a bulky bulky uh, construction and this bulky construction is known as the hub or the uh, boss okay now the difference between the shaft of a francis turbine and an impulse turbine if you compare these two turbines that i mentioned either francis turbine or impulse turbine if you compare their shaft with this shaft you will find that in those cases the shaft is having a uniform cross section throughout it will be having a uniform cross section but in this case at the bottom you will have a bulky structure which is known as the hub or the boss and on this bulky structure we will be having the blades okay now if you look carefully this is your boss or this is your hub you can see this is the shaft at the bottom you have this bulky structure which is known as the hub and then you have these veins okay and one more thing you observe these veins are not straight they are slightly curved now again in the like uh, uh, upcoming classes or if possible uh, some after some time i'll explain you why it is important okay but remember that these veins are not straight like this they are not perpendicular to you can say uh, uh, this shaft it is having some angle of rotation okay so now this is your arrangement of a propeller or a kaplan turbine again i am repeating now the water enters from here then here the water will encounter guide vanes which will regulate the amount of water that will enter after this the water will come from this side it will move here and while moving here it will encounter the vanes which is being attached which is uh, attached to the boss or the hub as a result the vanes will rotate the vanes will rotate the hub will rotate the hub will rotate the shaft will rotate and then subsequently you can produce electricity and then the water will be discharged into the tail race and since it is a reaction turbine it will have draft tube okay my dear students uh while i was explaining the functioning of the construction and working of propeller or a kaplan turbine one question should have you know it should come into your mind that sir you are telling that the water is entering like this first let me draw the diagram so this is your mota moti you know you can say that this is your hub and then here you can say that we have blades okay this is just a rough diagram so as i told you the water enters from here here you will, uh, the water will encounter the guide vanes and then from here the water comes like this and it goes like this now you can say that sir the water is entering radially the water is entering radially then why are you saying that this is an axial flow turbine this question should come into your mind and i am sure you will encounter this question somewhere in your life if you are in this field of mechanical engineering okay now why it is called axial flow turbine is because when the water strikes the vanes when the water strikes the vanes it means where this interaction is happening before that it is moving parallel to the shaft 
and therefore it is called axial flow turbine it doesn't matter how the water is entering inside the system but before the interaction happens here between the water and the shaft or and the guide vanes it is in axial direction it is flowing parallel to the shaft therefore it is called axial flow turbine again i am telling you it doesn't matter how your water is entering it is called axial flow turbine because just before the interaction happens where the interaction happens it is in axial direction and therefore it is called axial flow turbines okay now i hope this is clear to you now some conventions you should know like this is how your suppose you can say this is your how your uh, hub is there or boss is there so and then you will have guide vanes over it okay so this is called do okay now what is do if someone ask you what is do because this will be required so do is the you can say do is the outside diameter outside diameter of runner so do is the outside diameter of the runner and then this diameter is called d it is denoted by db what is this db db is the diameter of the boss or the hub so this is known as hub or the boss so these two things you should know okay so now <coughs> i hope again this thing is clear to you that why a propeller or kaplan turbine is called uh, axial flow turbine and why not radial flow turbine and what is these conventions okay so now next just a few minutes back i told you that the guide vanes they are not attached like this they are not exactly perpendicular to the shaft they are attached like this they are inclined somewhat now why it is so you know it's just like common sense if suppose if the arrangement is like this it means the water will strike here and then there will be sudden impact and it will push back there will be a push back and maybe it won't rotate but if you just incline it the water will fall over it it will smoothly flow down and gradually it will also rotate like this okay if it is like this there will be a sudden impact and there will be no easy passage of water but if you make it like this there will be gradual impact easy passage of water and therefore it will also rotate so this is the reason why the guide vanes are curved especially in case of propeller turbine or kaplan turbine okay now the next thing is working proportion working proportion okay now as far as work done efficiency or power generated as far as these three things are concerned in case of propeller or kaplan turbine it is very much similar to the francis turbine so we have already discussed this in the class so whether it is making the velocity triangle whether it is solving numericals this we have already discussed in the class so same thing applies for uh, propeller or kaplan turbine also same kind of velocity triangle work done efficiency power generated you can find it with the help of your velocity triangle but one uh, small change is there there is a term called n okay here the value of n will be db by do you can just refer to our uh, mid sem classes and you can see i told you about the value n why it is called n or what is n now again n is equal to db by do db means diameter of boss do means outside diameter of the runner okay now as you know that discharge is equal to area into velocity so area you can write as pi by 4 do square minus db square why you are writing it like this because see if this is your boss this is your runner so this will be your do and this will be your db and the discharge or the action of water happens in this area so it will be do minus db so this area is where the action happens and therefore we write is we write as do square minus db square so you should be clear why are we why we are writing it like this into vf you know the inlet whatever the velocity with which the water is entering that you can say as vf okay so you can write this as 
पाई बाई फोर डी ओ स्क्वायर माइनस यू जस्ट सब्सिट्यूट दिस यू कैन राइट इट एन स्क्वायर इंटू डी ओ स्क्वायर डी बी इज इक्वल टू एन इंटू डी ओ सो डी बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एन स्क्वायर इंटू डी ओ स्क्वायर इंटू वी एफ सो नेक्स्ट यू कैन राइट एज राइट पाई बाई फोर डी ओ स्क्वायर डी ओ स्क्वायर यू हैव टेकन दिस एज कॉमन वन माइनस एन स्क्वायर इंटू वी एफ ओके नाउ अगेन पाई बाई फोर डी ओ स्क्वायर वन माइनस एन स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट यू कैन राइट वी एफ एस के इंटू अंडर रूट टू जी एच दिस अगेन आई होप यू रिमेंबर वी हैव लर्न इट इवन बिफोर द मिड सेम एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो दिस इज दिस आई होप सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर वेन यू आर सॉल्विंग एनी न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम ओके एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो अ कन्वेंशन दैट यू शुड रिमेंबर वाइल यू सॉल्व एनी न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू प्रोपेलर और कैपलन टर्बाइन ओके ओके नाउ द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज या द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ प्रोपेलर टर्बाइन एंड अ कैपलन टर्बाइन you would have noticed that till now i have been using these two things together so you all must be wondering that sir if everything is together if everything is almost similar then why we are having two separate turbines so the basic difference be between these two turbines are that the basic difference is that in propeller turbine the vanes are fixed and in case of kaplan turbine the vanes are movable now what does this means this means that this is your boss in that you have vanes so when we talk of propeller turbine in that the vanes are fixed you cannot move them you cannot change their orientation so this is a very strict a very hard turbine called propeller turbine kaplan turbine is like a bindas ladka you know it is flexible you can change the orientation the vanes are movable they are adjustable so it is called kaplan turbine and by looking at their functions you can say that this is an advanced form of turbine and this this is something that originated early on after that scientists improved and they discovered this or invented this kaplan turbine okay now the last topic is the difference between francis turbine and kaplan turbine now what is the difference between francis turbine and kaplan turbine this can be asked anywhere in your exam means whether you are giving any psu exam gate exam or end semester exam this question you can encounter so what is the difference between francis turbine and kaplan turbine so first of all let's see the type of turbine so when it comes to the type of turbine francis turbine is radially inward inward or mix फ्लो टर्बाइन दिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड सो फ्रांसिस टर्बाइन इज अ रेडिली इनवर्ट और अ मिक्सड फ्लो टर्बाइन वेर एज कैपलन टर्बाइन इज एन एक्सियल फ्लो टर्बाइन बोथ हर रिएक्शन बट दिस इज रेडिली इनवर्ट और मिक्स फ्लो हियर इट इज एक्सियल फ्लो टर्बाइन सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट डिफरेंस द सेकेंड डिफरेंस इफ यू सी शेफ्ट इन दिस केस इन फ्रांसिस टर्बाइन द शेफ्ट कैन बी हॉरिजोंटल एज वेल एज वर्टिकल it depends but in case of kaplan turbine it has to be vertical then only axial flow is possible okay the third difference is the third difference is uh, the third difference can be um, guide vanes yeah it can be guide vanes in case of francis turbine the guide vanes are not adjustable you cannot adjust the guide vanes in case of francis turbine but as you all know in kaplan turbine the guide vanes are adjustable so these are the three differences now the fourth difference is number of vanes now in francis turbine the number of vanes varies from 16 to 24 whereas in case of kaplan turbine it varies from 3 to 8 so it means in kaplan turbine less number of vanes are there whereas in francis turbine we have a huge number of vanes varying from 16 to 24 okay now the last difference that you can find is head as we have already discussed in the starting of the lecture this operates at a medium head whereas uh, kaplan turbine operates at a lower head 
लोअर हेड मीन्स इन सम बुक्स यू विल फाइंड दैट इट ऑपरेट्स अप टू थर्टी मीटर्स सम बुक विल से दैट ऑपरेट अप टू सिक्सटी मीटर्स सो बेसिकली बेसिकली इट विल ऑपरेट बिलो सिक्सटी मीटर बिलो एटी मीटर्स इट विल ऑपरेट ऑपरेट एट अ लोअर हेड और लो हेड एंड हियर द हेड वेरीज फ्रॉम थर्टी टू थ्री हंड्रेड मीटर्स और यू कैन से सिक्सटी टू टू फिफ्टी मीटर्स डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द बुक दैट यू आर स्टडिंग डिफरेंट बुक्स आर गिविंग डिफरेंट डेटा But one thing is clear: it operates. It operates. Uh, the Kaplan turbine operates at a lower head, and the Francis tur turbine operates at a medium head, and the Impulse turbine operates at a higher head. Okay. So for today, let this be the ending. ओके आई होप आप सबको थोड़ा बहुत समझ में आ गया हो और आप प्लीज यू प्लीज गो थ्रू द बुक यू नो आई ऑलवेज से डोंट स्टडी वाया इंटरनेट डोंट स्टडी वाया पीपीटी रीड बुक्स इफ यू रीड बुक्स देन ओनली यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ओके एंड इन बुक्स इन इफ यू फॉलो एनी काइंड ऑफ वट एवर बुक यू आर फॉलोइंग यू विल फाइंड देर आर सेवरल अदर इंफॉर्मेशन विच आई हैव नॉट गिवेन बिकॉज माई जॉब इज टू जस्ट गिव यू अ ब्रीफ बेसिक आइडिया आफ्टर दैट इट इज योर जॉब टू बिल्ड My job is to give a foundation. Now, above that foundation, if you are making a Qutub Minar, Taj Mahal, or a Jhopar Patti, it depends upon you. Okay. So I hope today you have learned about Francis turbine. No, no, sorry, Kaplan turbine and propeller turbine. Okay. चलिए धन्यवाद. Thank you very much.